Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is issue 54 of Build Your Own X-Men. Uh, we've got some bits, but that bit we won't be using yet, but we'll be building some more um, inner engine assemblies. Uh, right, more stuff about First Order TIE Fighters that I don't really care about. That's quite a nice crash diorama in scale, in nice full scale, because, yeah, that was good, I like that. Uh, Darth Vader? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then the upper port engine, which we are going to start building. Uh, let's have a look. We've got, I like the colour, that the, the sort of burnt orange, yellowy sort of, it's quite nice. Uh, retro thrust nozzles. Um, I'm not going to get all of it. We've got the other five bits from that there. So, yes, we're good to go. We have all the parts required for this part of the build. Uh, let's move everything around so I can see what I'm doing and you can see what I'm doing and everyone sees what everyone's doing uh, right we're taking the upper casing <coughs> and the retro thrust nozzle and we are fitting that into there uh, getting that that way around there we go so we've got two pins to go into the two holes if it just lines up just right about there like that and then not going together it feels just about right maybe it's not i think i twisted it a little bit let's try again that's tighter fit than i remember them being in the past so that's where that bit is that's where that bit is it's got to be just there that feels better there we go that goes home into there Cool. the front casing should now look like this it does pretty much like that yeah there you go take the five remaining engine components and turn the page so you can see what you're doing <coughs> right there we go now this is the bit where you've got the ejector pin marks that you need we can't really see from that angle that's quite cool there you go those bits you need to make sure are on the right side because they're not on that side and that's the side we're dealing with and we're dealing with this bit with the pin goes through there all the way through like that <clears throat> and on the other side of that that half bit's on there we go so far so good we're then taking this and putting it into there like that easy push the vein firmly into place i have it's almost like they knew what i was going to be doing uh, now we're fitting the lower shroud onto those two pins there. Uh, again, making sure you get it the correct way round. Uh, this is the bit that one hole is in fact bigger than the other. One peg is bigger than the other. So you should only be able to get it one way round. And that way round is like that. Push that home. And there we have... The assembly should look like this it does it looks just like that for you there you go uh but then we will of course test fit it because yeah why not that's going to go that way around uh the peg goes into the hole up the top there now it says test fitting but i think that's fitting i'm, I'm not going to be taking that back out again uh so yeah there we have once more another part another stage complete now this was a very quick short video but i think next time we're playing with more pipes and stuff so it's going to be a bit longer so settle in prepare yourselves for tomorrow's episode and i shall see you soon thanks for watching bye bye oh I, before i go no i can't go yet i've got to show you the picture on the back oh actually hang about there's more there's a big picture of the upper port engine cool and there's the picture on the back, which, because we were talking about Vader and TIE Fighters, is obviously another TIE Fighter. So there we go. That's that. I finished now. I almost forgot that. that was, that's an important bit. So thank you for watching. I shall see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>